Hello everyone, I'm Sister Vasa, and as usual, I'm delighted you've joined me for this brief coffee break. Today, Zillions, let's reflect a little bit about self-limitation, because now we have all reached, in all calendars, the preparation period before the great feast of Christmas called Advent in called Advent in the Latin tradition and the Nativity or Christmas fast in the Byzantine church calendar. We naturally... Do, can you guys stop walking in front of the camera when I'm filming? My crew does not take my coffee break seriously just because they don't write these episodes. As I was saying, we associate fasting Zillions, naturally with self-limitation. And some of us might be procrastinating about beginning our fast and refocusing on the upcoming feast because we do tend to procrastinate about something we perceive from its negative side, something we perceive perhaps as a big no rather than a big yes. So I would like to suggest to you that fasting is actually a big yes rather than a no. It is an act of will with a very clear vision or goal in mind, the vision of the upcoming feast, in this case the birth of our Savior in Beth Bethlehem. In this decisive act of taking on a conscious preparation for this event in body and in soul, we are saying yes to embracing the feast together with the community of our tradition. The reason this involves self-limitation is really that any act of will is tied to self-limitation. As very helpfully G.K. Chesterton points out in this wonderful little book that I happen to be looking at recently, it's called Orthodoxy. You probably already know this book. Anyway, here Chesterton writes that every act of will is an act of self-limitation. To desire action is to desire limitation. In that sense, every act is an act of self-sacrifice. When you choose anything, you reject everything else. So, that might be obvious, but as we limit ourselves in certain ways these weeks before Christmas, let's remember this obvious fact that we do so because we want to. But that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope to see you 